Hey everybody, welcome to a new um, rain vlog. I thought I would just give you guys a rain update and I just realized I stopped in the middle of a chapter and I didn't realize that in the last vlog, but I'm still currently working on Beach Read by Emily Henry and I will probably will finish this in the next couple of days. And I also forgot to, I think I forgot to mention that I've read one short story from the Agatha Christie's Hercule Poirot short story book that I'm currently working on and I'm just gonna read one short story a day or try to because there's some that I just some days I just don't feel like reading a short story but that's pretty much it for the start of this vlog I'm just excited for this week because it's the start of Becca's Book Upload-a-thon and Season of Thon Academy which are two readathons I'm just being in September and I'm still trying to figure out what I want to prefer that like for both of them. And I thought I would let you guys know that I got a package. So I ordered this off of eBay because I saw this shirt at Disney and I wanted that shirt since I saw it and they ran out of shirts in my size. So I'm like, I gotta get it because the Disney World website was out of stock and I'm just really wanted this shirt so badly and and of course it's a howling theme shirt because Kevin and I were there for Becky's ass a scary Halloween party so yeah I'm just really I've been wanting this shirt and and I'll let me see if I can get this open this was very well packaged so So yeah, I got this shirt. Hold on, that was the back. This Disney shirt right here. Oh, I just knocked down Katniss there. <laughs> that my Funko Pop figure. And I, so I got this shirt. I just love this shirt so much. It has the castle on it with the spooky night, and it says my spooky place. So I just glad I got this shirt. I I know I paid like double the amount than what Disney was selling, but I'm just like. I honestly don't care. I wanted the shirt so badly and I was too impatient to get way until it's available online again. But I'm so happy that I got this shirt and I know Kevin got his Halloween shirt that he wanted but it was available on the Disney Store website and look at him. He got, got it through the website and this shirt was so popular and it was so, like I said, it was sold out of my size so I'm like, I'm just so happy that I got this shirt and I just can't wait to wear it during um, the spooky season. So yeah, I, that's what I got. And, um, what else I was going to say? I do hope to, um, re finish Beach Read so I can start one of my books from my September TBR. So I'm still trying to figure out what to read first because there's some I do want to read more than others, but at the same time, uh, there was one that was on my previous TBR, like maybe a year or two ago, that I'm like, should I start with that? I don't know, but if you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it in the corner in case you guys missed my latest TBR video and my latest um, Ticket to Read video. So, yeah, I, that's pretty much it. I probably will read a bit more of Beach Read. I don't think I'll finish it tonight, so no matter how much I want to, but I shouldn't push myself too hard because I've honestly had trouble sleeping and I'm honestly having getting sore throats again. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's because of the weather difference between Florida weather and Illinois weather. I'm still trying to get used to the Illinois weather again. I, I don't know. It's weird but it's something I gotta get used to. I don't know. It's, it, it's weird right now but I'm feeling okay. I'm not that's sick or anything. It's just one of those things. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Sorry for not vlogging for the past couple of days. It's because I end up getting sick. Like when I got home from work, I had a really high fever. So I had to call in sick yesterday and today because I had a fever two days in a row. My temperature's gone down, th thankfully. And no, I don't have COVID. Thank goodness for that. I took a test and it was negative, so thank goodness for that. And um, 
but my throat is still hurting a bit but I'm just trying to get as much rest as possible for the last couple of days so that's why I've been doing so. I didn't do a lot of rain but I still hope to finish Beach Read because I'm about 100 pages left of this so I am really loving it and I do hope to finish it and <laughs> I um on I asked people on Twitter to vote for my first read for Begas Bogoblathon because I'm so indecisive of why I want to read next after I'm done with Beach Read like I picked the two smallest books on my TBR and the two biggest books on my TBR for Begas Bogoblathon so yeah these four here yeah I got Wonderlust by Jen Malone Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon Blood Honey by Shelby Mahurin and The Diviners by Libra Bright and it's winning so far in a bowl and I didn't realize this is one of the biggest ones on my TPR <laughs> so I mean I still been wanting to try again since I wasn't in the mood for it and I want to give it a second chance like I was liking it the first half when I read the first half of the book a couple of years ago and I didn't finish it so maybe I'll Maybe this is a, like a fate to give us a dollar try, so, <coughs> excuse me, um, that I might, um, give it, um, start with the Diviners. It is one of my chance cards because I end up getting two chance cards for my TBR, which is really unusual because I know with, when I participate in Maria Thought in the past, like, I end up getting, like, one community chess card and chance card but I got two chance cards which is very unusual and instructions for dancing as another was my chance card so yeah and, and the funny thing is I was hoping Blonde Honey would be way in the poll because I've been so behind in sequels and I've been wanting to continue on with this series but it's in second place on the poll so we shall see when the poll ends and um I'll let you know later um which one won <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, I don't usually vlog when I'm sick, but since it's the start of the read, I thought I'm just like, I'm just going to give myself a, a couple of days um, break. But yeah. So yeah, that's what's been happening <laughs> for the past couple of days. And like I said, I'm feeling better, but you probably could tell I sound a little funny because my throat is killing me. Like, like for the past couple of days, I've been having sore throat and... <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, I felt like I, my throat, how my feel, throat is feeling right now is I'm either choked or big kicked there. That's how my pain in my throat is feeling right now. But I'm still gonna try to get as much rest as possible. If I want to try to read a, at least a little bit, I'll try. But usually I don't read when I'm sick because I'm afraid I'll ruin the books if something happens. I know it's weird like that and I can't even listen to audiobooks that's what's bad about being sick I literally can't listen to audiobooks because I would I I literally don't have much memory when I'm sick and my camera's flashing it's I should um try to get as much rest but I'll catch you guys later hey everybody happy Friday just want to let you guys know I didn't do any reading yesterday but I am a little better than I was yesterday. My temperature finally went down. Thank goodness. And yeah, my throat is still bothering a bit. But not as much as it did for the last couple of days. So I will, like tonight, I am going to be working on Beach Read. And I don't, I'm not sure if I'll start this. But um, the poll um, from... Twitter, I specifically asked people who are participating in Becca's Book of with, with the help with the poll, and the winner is The Diviners by Libra Bright. I am excited about it, but <laughs> it's about almost like 578 pages, so I'm thinking about trying to audiobook again, but at the same time, I'm like, I'd probably rather read it physically, because no offense to audiobook, I was getting into it, but then I just, it kind of made me not in the mood for it anymore for some reason. So, yeah, I am going to start this tonight, maybe. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. And I honestly forgot to show you all 
um, a souvenir that I got from Disney from my last vlog, but I got this cute little tote bag. It's a Halloween Disney theme book tag. I, I thought it was cute and it was $25. I was like, what other opportunity will I get a cute Disney tote bag like this? So I've been using this a lot since I got it. So it's like, it's re really worth it for me. It's so cute. I'm like, I don't care if it's not Halloween. I probably will use this a lot, but this will definitely be helpful for when I go to the library and all that, or like if I'm going to the bookstore and yeah, I'm just really excited to use it more because that, that thing bag was so cute. I just could not pass it along. So yeah, that's pretty much it on my update. Oh yeah, I still need to show you guys Kevin's lightsaber they built during the trip too, so I probably will wait until like the weekend because we we would have more time, more time. So yeah, I will probably yeah. It's like about seven o'clock, and I might read beach read, but not sure yet. But I will try. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna try to read it before going to bed and most likely I'm kind of in a marine moon right now even though I've been sick for the last couple of days and I just miss it so and it always bugs me when I don't read but I can't read when I'm sick but yeah I that's pretty much it on update and I'll catch you guys later hey everybody happy Saturday I didn't get any rain done again um I honestly like I'm feeling better right now and I'm I'm planning on doing some rain today. I've just been taking care of myself today. And also, you probably could see my shelves are a big mess over there. It's because I was working on going through some books that that I that like books that I still want to keep in, some that I want to get rid of. So that's why I've been working on all morning. So be on the lookout for my next book on haul video so I still need to, need to fill these shelves again but I probably will work on that later but I know that Melanie from Completely Melanie is doing a live show right now to do rain sprints for Season of Thon Academy I probably will do some rain during that rain -thon. I know I have a, some books on my on that TBR but I'm gonna be reading the books that are on my Pegasus Book of Thon TBR so yeah, but I am still feeling better. My throat's starting to feel a little normal, which is nice. And I honestly took a nap before I vlogged because I'm like, I, I, I don't know why when, like sometimes this doesn't happen often, but sometimes when I try to read, I tend to fall asleep. So I take a nap and then, and I do read a lot more when I'm awake. It's weird, but it is what it is. But yeah, I'm... I'm just really excited about getting better <laughs> and I don't know how long this vlog is because of that but yeah and I'll catch you guys later. finished beach read I love it so much five stars and there's like four minutes left of the rain sprints as you can see there yeah so yeah I just finished it five stars I literally start this while I was still in Florida and I honestly didn't very much on the flight home so I was bringing this when that happened and I'm just so glad I finally read it after having to say on Michelle's for a couple of years because I know this was hyped two years ago and yeah now I'm excited to read more of her books because I know I have people we met on vacation on my TBR and I know the one her newest book that just came out called Book Lovers I really want to read that just because I love the title now I'm trying to figure out if I want to read 
like I want to start The Diviners or read one of the Hercule Poirot short stories. But I'm not sure yet, but yeah, I'm so happy that I finished this. <laughs> and yeah, and again, five stars, but I'll figure it out before the next sprints. So yeah, I just want to give you guys a little rain update on how I finished Beach Read. So yeah. So it's some time later and I've read, I've started the Diviners. I thought of reading the short stories, but I could probably do that later because I'm taking my time with it because it's like 50 stories. So I can do that like one per day if I wanted to, even though I haven't <laughs> lately. So I'm on page 72. So um, I'm really liking it so far like I did the first time around. Like I said, I, I DNF'd it because I don't know why the audiobook made me no longer in a mood for it. So um, rereading it actually helped a lot and I still like it so far so hopefully now I'll be reading it more tonight before I go s sleep because I got work tomorrow um yeah that's pretty much it I should probably grab some dinner and yeah I'll catch you guys oh also since Kevin's home maybe I'll have him um, show you guys his lightsaber because that's one souvenir from our Disney um, trip slash honeymoon that we haven't I haven't showed you yet so yeah, maybe I'll get him to show you his lightsaber. We shall see. So I have Kevin here. He's taking out his lightsaber. Yeah, it comes with this little protective bag in there, which is really cool. <laughs> like the whole thing, Kev. <laughs> I mean, like, all in action, like... <laughs> oh, well, this is really the part that counts. <laughs> Everything else is just kind of, you know, I mean, this is just a standard lightsaber now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why don't you light it up? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna show you in the dark. <laughs> yeah, he, he loves it. And of course he picks purple because that's his favorite color. And plus Mace Windu <laughs> in the prequel trilogy. <laughs> Sam Jackson, man. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's better to see in the dark than in the light. Because <laughs> the room that we were in was almost dark. If I remember correctly, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's loving his lightsaber. <laughs> I could do this space ball style if you want. I uh, know, thanks. <laughs> That's my husband, folks. Hey, everybody. Happy Sunday. Yeah, I still have not taken care of those bookshelves yet from clearing it yesterday. But I've read a lot of The Diviners yesterday. I got to page 84, so almost 100 page mark. I'm still really liking it, and I just hope to read more of this today. I'm not sure up to, like, what page, but I'm still hoping to read some of this um, today. Just so I would, I know I have like a lot, like a lot left here as you can see, but I do hope to get a lot of reading this done today so I can get to the next book that I want to read, which I don't know why I want to read next, <laughs> to be honest. And yeah, hopefully I'll fit in it, be like halfway through this today. I mean, that's why I hope for. So yeah, that's pretty much and for my update, I will read this for a little bit, and yeah, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, I've read a little bit of The Diviners. I got to page 106. I know I didn't, uh, I only read a little bit of it, but I am planning on maybe halfway through it before I go to bed. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end this vlog here because I know I got it, and this vlog before I go to Bed, but this week I finished Beach Read by Emily Henry. I give us five stars. And I'm going to be still working on the Diviners. And I'm pretty sure I will still be working on it next week. But we shall see. Maybe I'll finish this next week. Who knows? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog. If you did, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what you're currently reading at the moment or if you're participating in any of the readathons like Becca's Book Upathon or Season Athon Academy, I would like to know. 
And if you haven't, uh, and if you want to follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, which all links will be down below for you guys. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. I am doing this outro like really out of order, but I couldn't help it, and and I kind of been a little rambly, so I apologize for that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and on this video, and I'll catch you in it. The next one. Bye.